I'll be reacting to our Ranking of Kings episode four. I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website, and I'll be starting my reaction in one zero go. Anime Polex. Ah, I always love the Anime Polex announcer's voice. And honestly, I like how layered the animation logo is with the Cuban eyes, lollipops. Oh, okay, now it's back. It's just a shame that Boji's father couldn't see Domus who, for who he actually is. But who knows? Maybe Domus will actually redeem himself. Maybe. I like how Boji looks so damn hyped. <laughs> I want to see Boji's Whoa. I like that, though. Instead of having, like, a complaining look on his face at the prospects of doing a thousand push-ups, he tried to do it straight up. Uh, that is darn impressive, and it shows you the tenacity of Boji, where he never complains. Or at least in most cases, he never complains. Oh. My guess is the way he's saying that Boji ain't exactly a great fit for the this... Oh, that's nice to see him actually practicing with Hilda there. Hmm. Now it makes me wonder what happened because it definitely implied in the earlier episodes that eventually Domus lost faith in Boji having aptitude with the sword. Yeah, he tried. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, okay. Even though Domus hasn't completely won me over yet, that that he's starting to win me over a little bit. Cause, cause at least in there it shows you that he really does care for Boji. But then again, that's how it was back in there. Now, now it's really making me curious. He's saying that. He's doing a damn bad job at keeping Boji safe, if you ask me. Considering that Boji got a lot of injuries and in sparring with his own brother. Only because of what Doma said to Boji and Style Language. And one of the first few episodes of the series. So yeah, he's doing a damn bad job. And don't come with me that, oh yeah, well Queen Hilda, the Queen killed Boji later. Doesn't matter. Regardless of the fact. That doesn't make it okay at all. But, and saying that. Oh man. I love it already, it's. Definitely showing off that Boji and Domus' relationships definitely be one of the most complicated, one of the most unique dynamics in the series because holy shit. Because at the very least with the queen, she at the very least shows off traits that she really cares about. Boji still. But with Domus, it's like, whoa. really makes a question a lot of things about him. But that's what makes the series interesting, though. It always brings up interesting questions. 
Or now it's back. Oh, Hillian. I don't know what. Got to get used to calling her by the name. Oh, that explains the Rankin of Kings thing then. I like the conflict set up here because, whoa. Yeah. I kind of like how there, there are even bits where Dida hesitates. And completely following the recommendations of the mirror. I like that. At least the data shows that he doesn't just take action just because he's told to. That like how it shows you how he con contemplates things at the very least. Oh. By a country model, too. Oh, I wonder if that explains the demon looking thing in the in the scene where, um, we see Bose's dead body. I wonder if that explains things. So like a visual representation of uh, maybe Bose potentially um, losing his mind before he passed away, maybe? Hmm. Now these are the type of app vibes I can get behind. It's actually nice. Seeing Boji's reaction to moral into the beauty of nature. <laughs> like, is he so excited he can't fall asleep? Aww. He's so precious. Yo! <laughs> Don't be quick! You know, even though you might not be able to, like, say pass any potentially um, potential strength test, you'd probably be able to pass a lot of speed tests just off of his agility alone. Jeez. Oh. Whoa. I'm assuming that thief is going to want to go after Boji. Because with the way he has his eyes trained on him and plus the character design, too. <laughs> Actually, like that bit of character as a oh shit. But you know what? This makes sense considering Boji's a child and he was unsupervised. Oh. Okay, here, Domus has legitimate reason to be angry. And kind of sad, too, because Boji really did want to help out that person earlier by giving the gold coin. That's actually kind of sad, but here, Domus has a point, though. I'm actually, as much as I dislike him, sometimes you need tough love in life. And this might actually be a good experience for Boji. It better, it's best he makes these mistakes in now. <laughs> Yo! Yes! Fuck yeah! 
See the crack. Oh, man. That soothes my soul. Especially after what he did to our Boji and all that a few episodes ago. That is just seems satisfying seeing him just eat a slice of humble pie. Again, one of the instances where I kind of agree with Domas there to an extent. Oh. The thing is, though. Oh. Oh. Cop. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if it's... Hmm. No, I don't think it could potentially be Kage because... Hmm. But who knows what the series, though? Might actually pull a nice little surprise. I like how that's another one of Boji's weaknesses where he... Oh! <laughs> oh, my. Who oh, think he's him on his feet? Because that looked like it could have been potentially deadly there. But, you know, I like that because it shows us that Boji's natural curiosity actually is one of his weaknesses. Or at the very least how he tackles things without any sense of caution. And I like that because it prevents Boji from feeling like a Mary Sue. Oh. <laughs> That's actually a nice description of what when I like how this just assumes the completely wrong thing. Ooh! I'm glad they panned away. I didn't need to see that creature being slaughtered. Ooh! That's some hardcore shit right there. Yeah, I mean, that thing kind of looks a little bit beautiful there. And creepy simultaneously. The fuck? Is that thing? Although, I gotta admit, I like that it does build the world of the series a little bit more. <laughs> I wonder if that dance of reconciliation is going to become useful for Boji later on. Because at least so far in the series, they've done almost everything with a purpose. So far. Mm. I love when characters are like mine. <laughs> They always say it's so dang epically in anime. That is a circle of life right there. Whoa! No, I don't think he's going to harm Mona's 
Oh, shit, never mind. I like the difference in react facial expressions. Like, Domus looks absolutely annoyed and pissed. And then it just shows absolute concern. I like this. Demonstrates how Domus, as far as a guy with high status, you can definitely tell he's lacking in tact. Oh! Whoa! Because at least in this journey, Domus hasn't even shown a single bit of warmth yet, anyway. Because that's... Aww. But hey, you know, at least... Hey, at least those creatures have something. I like that smile for emoji there. Shows you selflessness. Hmm. Aww. That really makes you feel bad. Oh. And that explains why you wanted to go on this trip so badly then and he wanted to accompany Boji. That explains a lot. And I love moments like that. Shows you how much heart oh And those little details too, where you see all the little dirt stains on their clothing. Oh. I'm assuming because sacrifices are done. Seems like a bit of a risk, though. And take Boji with them. But you know what? I mean, I guess... This is something Boji needs to experience, though. He needs to... Aside from experiencing the beauties in life, he needs to experience some of the icky things in life, too. Whoa! Oh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's probably ordered by Dida to assassinate Boji. Motherfucker! Oh, fuck. I wonder if the queen was in on it, too. Oh. Well, I'm not in on it, but if she had like some kind of inkling that this was gonna happen. And he's smiling about it! <laughs> oh my. Really, I, now I really wish that assassin would have killed him. Anyone would have killed Domas. Oh, now he's begging for forgiveness after pulling deed? Really now? What a 
man with the lack of conviction right there. Doing what he's ordered and knowing that his personality, he's gonna open that box. There's no fucking way that thing's gonna stay out. I just hope for his sake his mother isn't sacrificed because he opened the box. But I wouldn't be surprised if she were sacrificed. Ironic how the brother that he detests is his last hope. Hmm. Or who knows? It could have been a mix of dream and reality. Oh shit! That's kind of making me wonder if the mirror is gonna find a way of possessing Dida's personality. Or his whole body. Because of the way the mirror shiftly smiled. It was fucking creepy. But overall, fantastic episode. I'm going to give this one straight up a 9.5 out of 10. Because I love, from a narrative standpoint, Donald's betray uh, betrayal was actually no, it was well foreshadowed, all things considered, because he never really showed a little a single bit of warmth on this whole trip. I mean, the other guy did that was accompanying both Domus and Boji, and that also explains why he wanted to be with Boji by himself at the last bit of the episode. So I gotta go to the episode. It had a great build-up to the betrayal and great payoff too, because seeing the Streak of shock on Boji's face was a really tough scene to watch in a good way. So I love it. This episode was high with emotions. And another bit that I also really love about it was just from a character standpoint, seeing why Hokuro values Boji so much because Boji was putting a flower on that grave. I thought that was really sweet. And then seeing a bit more of Boji's gentle nature, like when he wanted Grace to be made for those foxes was such a damn heartwarming scene. And I love how it shows you how complicated Domus is a character because even though he did what he was ordered to do, which is to attempt to assassinate Boji, you can tell he didn't take pleasure in it. Although the fucker, if he wouldn't have been such a fucking punk though, and had he actually thought things through and instead be all like, all right, I'm not going to do what I'm ordered, then all right, everything would have been fine. But in saying that, I think it was an interesting narrative decision for him to actually push Boji off, just being for the reason that, and him pushing Boji off, it shows you that Domas is a conflicted man. And I love that. Because in seeing him seemingly have regrets, it's going to make it so that if he say he were to help Boji in the future, if Boji were to live, it could lead into an interesting redemption arc. Or if he does a sacrifice. Because at this point, the only way I can see him redeeming himself completely is if he sacrifices his life to save Boji in the future, if he finds out Boji's alive. That's the only way I can see this motherfucker being redeemed. Because I don't see any other way of that happening. Just concerning what went down in the episode, anyways. But all, all the great stuff. And I also like how, from a character standpoint, we get to see Dida's characterization because, for the most part, he held firm and not wanting to, like, rely on his father's power until he had that weird dream. And I love how it gives characterization for the mirror. Because with the mirror characterization, it says a lot. 
just seeing the fact the mirror and then looking out for the personal needs of fucking Dida. That mirror looks like it's looking out for its own needs. Just considering the fact that I gave Dida that terrible dream just to push him into the direction of wanting to utilize his father's power also says a lot. So I like that too. It makes um, the mirror a character in on itself. And aside from the high flying emotions, I gotta say, aside from it doing really substantial from a character standpoint, I love what it did visually. I thought the visuals were great, especially the scene where Boji was pushed off. That was all animated and fluid. I thought the voice acting was absolutely phenomenal. And the artwork was on model. And the music was damn good. And that's why overall, I got to give the episode a rating of a 9.5 out of 10. And this series is honestly a contender to be my anime of the season. Just off of the last few episodes alone, I'm like, geez. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. I would really love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. And have a great and safe day, everyone. And thanks so much for watching my video, y'all. Bye-bye.